welcome to RecTV Education. Today in this video, let's have a discussion of accounting for bonus issue. These are the subtopics which we are going to discuss under the heading of accounting for bonus issue. The first one is meaning of bonus issue and next topic is conditions for bonus issue and another topic sources of bonus issue along with SEBI guidelines and what is the actual logic behind the bonus issue. Now let's start our discussion with one by one topic. The first topic, what is meant by bonus share? It is nothing but giving share to the existing equity shareholder without any consideration is known as bonus share. Conditions for bonus issue. Company can issue bonus shares if all of the following conditions are satisfied. The first condition which the company has to satisfy to issue a bonus share to the existing equity shareholder is no defaulted for payment of principal or interest on debentures. That is first they have to pay to the other creditors after that whatever the reserves are remaining from that they will pay the bonus issue. Conditions for bonus issue. The company can issue bonus shares if all of the following conditions are satisfied. The company should not make any default in the payment of principal or interest on debentures. That is first they have to settle all the outside creditors. Another conditions for bonus issue the company have to satisfy is articles of association should also provide for the provision for bonus issue and shares are fully paid up and one more important point under the conditions for bonus issue is reserve the similar benefits for convertible debentures. Next let's see what are the sources of bonus issue along with SEBI guidelines from where we have to give this free reserves. There are two cases in case A for issue of bonus shares to fully paid up shareholders and in case B it is for issue of bonus shares to partly paid up shareholders. For the issue of bonus shares to fully paid up shareholders these are the reserves they can give from capital redemption reserve and it is used only for the bonus issue and from securities premium if it is realized in cash and from capital reserve if it is only the realization in cash and another reserve is free reserves and surplus because free profits can be used for any business purpose and under case B if it is for partly paid up shareholders or conversion of partly paid into fully paid up we can issue from the capital reserve and free reserves but we should not use capital redemption reserve and securities premium for those shareholders who has partly paid up equity shares. Now let's see the what is the logic behind actually for issue of bonus. Now let's see the logic behind the bonus issue why the company can't give directly dividend to the existing shareholders why they will issue the bonus. If they give 100% profits in the form of dividends to the existing shareholders there will be cause of double taxation. Now you people may get a doubt that where there will be double taxation. Previously when I get the operating profit in on that profit I will pay the tax. After deducting the tax paid by the company I will get the net profit which I will take to the PNL appropriation account as you are seeing in this video. Now if the net for example if the net profit is 50,000 the whole 50,000 if I give to the equity shareholders in the form of dividends the company has to pay dividend distribution tax on the amount of 50,000. So previously also they have paid the income tax now also in the form of dividend distribution tax they are paying the tax. So on the same amount they are paying two times so there will be a double taxation. So to avoid the double taxation this bonus issue came into existence. So this is a simple logic why the bonus issue came into existence and why the company will issue bonus instead of paying 100% dividend to the existing shareholders. Now if the government comes and asks to the company to pay the tax on the net profit after deducting the income tax, the company will say that this amount is not going out of the company just we are keeping that amount from one account to we are transferring to another account that is from PNL appropriation account to just this amount is transferring to the reserves and surplus. So, the, so after that slowly they will transfer from reserves and surplus to equity in the form of issuing bonus. So the cost of bonus is nil because the investor has to pay nothing to it. So this is a very simple logic behind the bonus issue. Till now we have seen the discussion of bonus issue. 
Now the topic is actually accounting for bonus issue. Okay, the company will issue the bonus, but how they will account for in their books of accounts. Now these are some entries which they consider in accounting for bonus issue. The first entry what they will do is, if they are partly paid up shares, first they will call the final call money. After getting, they will issue the bonus to the all the shareholders who are the existing. When they call the final call, we will get cash. So the entry is bank account to equity share final call account. And this equity share final call account will transfer to finally equity share capital account. So after shares are fully paid up, they will declare the bonus to the shareholders in proportion to their shares held by them in the company. So already we have discussed that what are the reserves to be used for the bonus issue. We have discussed capital redemption reserve, securities premium which is realized in cash, capital reserve this is also to be realized in cash and free reserves. These are the reserves the company can use for any purpose for the business. Now they will, now let's see the accounting entry for this. First they will use the, if there is any capital redemption reserve, they have to use from the capital redemption reserve. So the entry is capital redemption reserve account debit, securities premium account debit, capital reserve account debit, free reserves and general reserves debit to, to whom we are giving, they have to give in the credit, that is bonus to shareholders account. Finally the entry is, bonus to shareholders account to equity share capital so this is capitalization of profit so one of the important note as per the SEBI guidelines capital reserves and securities premium have been assumed as realizing in cash and hence can be used for the issue of fully paid bonus shares so friends today we had a lot of interesting discussion on accounting for bonus issue which is very important and which is very small topic by which can give a more marks and more weightage in your examination. A compulsory question in your IPCC examination. So for more videos of this type of interesting questions on accounts of your group 1 or group 2, please subscribe to Rec TV. Thank you.